Hey, this is Denise and this is a quick tutorial on Google Calendars and sharing your calendar with your virtual assistant. So the first thing you want to do is head over to calendar.google.com or hopefully you have it saved on your bookmark bar and log in. Over here on the left hand side you will see a list of calendars and for today's tutorial we're going to use this test calendar. And you can see that there is a little drop down next to that test calendar words, wording, and you can go up to calendar settings. And this is where you do all of that kind of stuff. There's calendar details, which is the tab we're on, but we really care about share this calendar. From here, you have a couple different options. The first thing you want to do is put in that person's email address, and then you're going to give them a permission. So from this drop down, you can actually see that there are four different levels of permission. The, the most permissible, the one that kind of is the admin of everything, the one that gives you all of the scoop, all of the details, is the make changes and manage sharing. So that person, whoever you give permission to, they can make changes to your calendar, they can manage it, they can add people, they can kind of do everything. The next level down is make changes to events and that allows them to see everything but also let's say you had a meeting and you forgot to add someone. They could log in and add that person. The next level down is see all event details and that lets them actually click on the entry of the calendar and get all of the, you know, if you put in um, like a webinar address or directions or whatever, it lets the person get in and see all of that information but not make any changes. And finally, the lowest permission setting is see only free slash busy. So basically when you look at a calendar, it'll just be a block of entries and it'll say busy or free. That's it. So because I run Google Apps for work, um, there are a couple of differences as opposed to Gmail. And I'm gonna show you those right now. For right now we're going to pretend to add my business partner Benjamin here and you can see that he has the option all four of these options are available to be clicked now if I go in and add my personal Gmail account which actually is on Gmail that make changes and manage sharing that that highest level of permissions is not available and that's because it is not that email address doesn't end in at ufa.com so that's the scoop and that's how you share a calendar. Once you choose the person, you go ahead and hit the save button and you're done. Thanks for watching.